Hey, what's up guys? It's Miles, and today I wanna to show you guys the easiest and the simplest way to shoot 35 millimeter film through your Pentax 6x7. So first off, why would you wanna shoot 35 millimeter film in a medium format camera such as the Pentax 6x7? Well, first off is just the size of the negative. It is a 28 by 70 millimeter negative. That's bigger than any other 35 millimeter film camera. A really widescreen look, and it definitely gives your images that cinematic look that um, a lot of people are trying to get. So just looking online on how to shoot 35 millimeter film through Pentax 6x7, I saw a bunch of crazy uh, tutorials where people were just wasting rolls of 120 film to get that backing paper or you know spending a lot of money online for fancy adapters uh, this is the easiest way that i found so far to do it so first off let's go over the materials that you're going to need so first off you're always going to need your pentax 6x7 a roll of 35 millimeter film these two adapters here um you pretty much just add some width to your 35 millimeter film so that it can take up that 120 spool space and you can find these online for for pretty cheap and then you're also gonna need a strip of paper. Just make sure it's not taller than 35 millimeters and long enough to cover the back of your Pentax 6x7. You're just gonna need some tape as well. So first things first, we're gonna set up the film. You're gonna get your roll of 35 millimeter film, pull it out slightly, just not too much is enough. So where you can line up this piece of paper against the bottom of the leader. And you wanna make sure that it's parallel to the leader or the base is parallel to it. So we're just gonna tape that onto there. I'm taking the front side and then also taking, taking the back of the leader as well, just so that's extra secure. So once that's taped right there, you wanna put your adapters onto your film. Then when your adapters are on your film, what you wanna do is hold onto this leader and then twist your film so that it's tight inside the film canister. And what this is doing is just so when this when the film is being pulled through your camera, it's just bringing tight. So you're gonna wind it until you feel start to feel the leader, just move backwards, and then that's it. So your film is now set. So moving on to the camera, the first thing you want to do is set this camera to 220, because a roll of 36 exposures on 35 millimeter film is about twice as long as a roll 120 film. So you're gonna get 19 exposures shooting it through a Pentax 6x7. And if you have it set to 120, your, your camera's gonna stop shooting at 10 frames. So you wanna switch that to, to, to 220 so that you get those full 19 frames. So first thing you wanna do is turn the dial on the right side of the camera to from 120 to 220. Then you wanna open the back of the camera and then push down on a pressure plate and push it to the 220 side. So anyone who owns a Pentax 6x7 knows that you can't shoot the camera without any film in it. So if I go to advance the lever, nothing's gonna happen. And if I go to push the shutter, nothing's gonna happen. So what you wanna do is trick your camera to think that there's film inside of it. So how to do that is, I first like to cock the shutter halfway, open the back of the camera, and then what you wanna do is Push down on the dial above the film advance and then turn turn that counterclockwise so that the frame counter starts moving. And then once you get it past zero, you just want to close the back of the camera. So what that's going to allow you to do is wind the camera and also pull the shutter. And then you just want to cock it. There, your camera's set. So now what you can do is you can open the back of the camera. and you can start loading your film in. So you should have a roll or an empty spool of 120 film already in the camera from the leftover roll. So just put that on your take-up spool. And then you wanna put your roll of modified 35 millimeter film in the other side. So if the shutter cocked, you can't advance the film to rewind this paper onto the spool. But what you can do is still spin it and it's still gonna ratchet it in place. So you just wanna put that paper in there and then turn that spool. I 
and make sure that it's centered. And then just make sure that that paper is tight against the back and then just close the back. And you take your first frame and just rewind it, take another one and rewind it again and now you're set. So now you're completely ready to shoot 35 millimeter film through your, one, your Pentax 6x7. But if you want to add frame lines into your viewfinder to help you, one more additional step you can take is get some black cardstock paper and just put it into your viewfinder. So how you're gonna do that is just first take off the lens. Always take off the lens if, you, if you're taking off the top of your Pentax. The measurement of the focusing screen on the Pentax 6x7 is about 70 millimeters by 55 millimeters. So I just cut a little rectangle and then I also cut a 28 millimeter tall window in the center of it. Even though when you're shooting this camera, you're also gonna expose the frame lines, you can cut a little bit wider to 35 millimeters to show that. However, most film labs um, can only scan up to 28 millimeters tall. So that's why I just left it at 28 millimeters. Um, if your lab has a flatbed scanner or you have a flatbed scanner, then you can scan all the way to 35 millimeters. But I just kept it in the camera in fashion and did it at 28 millimeters. If you have a prism with a light meter in it, um, I recommend using a handheld light meter instead just because the black paper inside may mess up your readings off the light meter inside your prism. So once you finish shooting that roll of 35 millimeter film, you're gonna see the frame line counter go to right, right at 19 and you're not gonna be able to advance anymore. So to unload this camera, you can't just pop open the back and pull up the film. What you're gonna have to do is go into a dark room, open the back and then pull out the 35 millimeter film and then rewind it back into the camera. Um, it kind of sucks, but that's, that's just the price you have to pay when you shoot, shoot. 35 millimeter film in a, in a 120 camera. So that is the simplest way to set up a Pentax 6x7 to shoot 35 millimeter film. I really like the images that I took on this camera. I really like my setup. Uh, I really, I, the only thing I wish is that I just had a, a wider lens because I have the 105 and then the 75 millimeter lens. I wish I had like either a 45 or a 55 just so I can get a wider picture the feel just because how tight it is with the top and bottom cut off in the frame. Hope you guys found this video informative. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below. And I'll see you next time.